Grace Moore here and today I'd like to share with you a tutorial on Chaturanga Dandasana, the yoga push-up. And you will need a belt and two blocks. So for the belt, you're going to make a loop, right? make a loop about shoulder distance. Okay? So you've got the loop and then we're going to take the uh, at least one block for right now and sit on the block for a moment. You want to lengthen the spine. So a lot of people do this in Chaturanga. You want to lengthen the lower back, no crunch in the lower back, and pull the belly in, the entire abdominal wall pressing gently towards the spine, and the shoulder blades down and back. Take the arms in front and activate the arms. So the arms are just about shoulder height, hand shoulder width apart. And then the shoulder blades, the scapula, is moving down and back. So back and down. And then let's do this movement right here. The chin is parallel to the floor. The crown of the head is facing up to the ceiling right now. So just do this movement. Brush the inside of the arms to the sides of the rib cage. That's the actual movement of Chaturanga. Okay? So the next thing you'll do is to get the loop right between, right, in, uh, right there in the arms. So loop your arms. So how do I do this? Just put the arm around. Okay, everybody can see that, right? So the, the, the belt is just below the elbow. And then press your bones into the strap. Lengthen the arms, exactly what we did before. Draw the elbows in, shoulder down and back. Push it forward. Elbows in, press it forward slowly. In, one more time, hold. Press your bones, your, your forearm bones, into the strap and the shoulder blades down. So there's a 90 degree angle at the shoulder, at the elbows, and it will be at the wrist as well. Okay? Just like this. And then release. Now the next sequence we'll do is a down dog plank, just to warm up a little bit more the core and the upper body. So you're going to get your block between the thighs. Arms down on the floor, press your forearms into the band, and extend the legs behind you. So plank pose. I'm going to show you from a little different angle, perhaps you can see better. And then tuck your tailbone, pull the belly in, shoulders down and back, press your forearms into the band, hold four, three, two, and the hour duck. Couple breaths here. And then inhale, plank. Exhaling, down dog. Just one more. Inhale, plank. Exhaling, down dog. Then inhale, plank. Hold four, three, two. Lower the knees to the floor and sit back. All right. Now. We're going to put the block to the side. You can keep the block, but just put it to the side. You've got the feeling for your inner thighs, so you really want to activate your inner thighs. Then once you got rid of the block, come back down here and go into the plank position. Feet close together, tuck your tailbone. Now, right here in plank, lower the knees to the floor and lower your rib cage down to the belt. So the belt is going to be supported, supporting the rib cage. Avoid rolling the shoulder forward and dumping the shoulder forward in your weight here. So you want to roll the shoulder back, create a little bit more um, emphasis in the upper back muscles. And then press it back up. Plank and down dog. Okay. We're doing this two more times. Inhale, plank. Lower your knees to the floor. Chaturanga, hold. Three, two, one. 
press it back up, plank, downward dog, breathe in, and out, next inhale, plank, put the knees down, lower, hold, three, shoulders back, two, tip of your nose is facing down, now press it straight back up, plank, downward dog, Good, and then come back down. And at all times, you're pressing your, your forearm bones into the band, keeping the band tight, okay? Now, the next one, we're gonna remove the belt, take the two blocks, and you're gonna line the blocks up like this, and you're gonna light up. So, line down onto the block. First, let's work on the legs for a moment. The chaturanga legs, okay? Pressing the back of your knees up towards the ceiling, tucking the tailbone. Pull the belly in, hold the chaturanga legs for a moment. Arms to the sides of the body, and again, notice if you're moving the shoulder blades and the shoulder joint forward, you want to roll the shoulder blades down the spine and back. And at the same time, create a little bit of space between the shoulder blades. Three, two, one, release. Take a deep breath in. Let's do this just one more time. Lift your legs up, pressing the back of your knees towards the ceiling, pubic bone towards the navel, arms close to the rib cage, and hold. Four, three, two, and one, release again. Now we're gonna do this same thing, but this time we're gonna lift the chest off the block. So keep your knees on the floor for right now, roll your shoulders back, press your hands on the floor, and then lift your chest up just an inch. Tuck your tailbone, three, two, one, come down. So people wanna do this right, out, right into the plank. We're not going into the plank, we're learning chaturanga. So roll the shoulders back, tuck your tailbone, and then press your hands firmly into the floor, lift the rib cage up just a mili uh, uh, an inch or two. Yes, three, two, one, and come down. One more time, ready? Lift, three, two, one, release. Now the hardest part is to do everything <laughs> with the legs off the floor. So let's try that, okay? Starting with the legs. Lift your legs up, tuck your tailbone, elbows close to the rib cage, tip of your nose facing down, roll your shoulders down and back, then lift, rib cage, maybe an inch or two, off the block, hold four, holding three, holding two, come down. And last time, lift the legs, tuck your tailbone, belly in, elbows in, and press your hands, firmly lift the chest, four, three, two, and down. Good, when you feel stronger, you can do this without the blocks, okay? But don't be in a hurry to do this without blocks because you want to be safe. So then the whole sequence, would be down dog, plank, chaturanga, press it straight back, down dog. Or you do in the form of a vinyasa where you are more familiar and it's more common to go into the up dog. Okay? So please do take time to practice chaturanga safely. It will avoid a lot of shoulder problems and the practice will be more enjoyable. Have a great day. Namaste.